Hello everyone, I hope this message finds you well and in good spirit. Since the closure of schools from the County Department of Health came down about a week ago, we realize that there's a lot of work to be done. So we want to take this opportunity to give you another update of the work that we've been doing. So far, all of our essential workers have been doing a great job and working very, very hard and tenaciously in making sure that we keep up the maintenance of the schools and making sure our children get fed in a lot of behind the scenes operational items. We're trying to keep a large school district going. And in the meantime, I want to also share with you that I'm very, very uh, thankful for my staff uh, here today because they have to put in a lot of hours behind the scenes and making sure that this is learning becomes a reality for our kids. Really working in an imperfect situation and reach for as much as perfection as possible. So I'm grateful and I want to thank you uh, for listening and I'm gonna hand over um, the uh, talking opportunity to a few of my very, very trusted and hardworking staff, beginning with Dr. Lisa Simon, who is the Associate Superintendent of Educational Services, followed by Dr. Uh, Sarah Musa, who is the Administrative Director of Educational Services, and to my left, um, Mr. Dick Benedifo, who is the Assistant Superintendent of IT. And uh, together, um, hopefully, we'll be as ready as we can under such a trying times um, to make this is learning work to the best of our ability. Dr. Simon. Yes, thank you, Dr. Lin. Uh, thank you everyone for your patience and support during this journey. We are really excited to um, inform you that distance learning officially begins this coming Monday, April 13th. And we understand a lot of our students and teachers have been engaged in distance learning up to this point. But there again, our official start date is this coming Monday. Be prepared to um, experience some challenges and um, new innovative experiences. Don't worry if you have technical difficulties or if you're struggling at times, we're all learning together. And while we really do strive um, to be as perfect as possible, we do know that this is a perfection ship and it's really more about progress. This is an opportunity for all of us to learn and grow together. And um, we're going to just share a little bit of information about grading and some other things. So I'm going to turn it over to uh, Dr. Ragusa. Thank you, Dr. Simon. So as uh, Dr. Simon said, um, this really is a time for us to kind of, as we say, play in the sandbox and learn together. Um, and students, I know you'll be doing that, um, working hard to get yourself finished out for this year and prepared for next year. But a little added incentive for you is we're excited to let you know that you have the opportunity to improve your grades from where you left off before you left school. So um, make sure that you're engaging with your teachers in all the opportunities that your teachers extend to you. And you'll be working with your teachers to um, either leave off where you did with your grade or improve it from there. So hope you have a great time with that. Enjoy, take part in everything that comes your way um, and don't waste this great opportunity. I'd like to uh, express my deep appreciation for the community for their patience during this uh, difficult times. And uh, in the last 20 days, uh, we've dramatically shifted from a face-to-face -face, uh, learning in our classrooms and computer labs to a full-on distance learning uh, environment. Uh, countless efforts by our staff uh, put together uh, Chromebooks, uh, uh, gathering from all our schools uh, within our district to give this opportunity to all the households that uh, require a device. What, I, what I'm, I'm so impressed about is to see the patients of our, of our uh, community coming out to show us what their needs are. And uh, what we have done in the last week is to uh, provide a survey to all our households that require a device. And we have heard you and we've been able to do distributions at some of our school sites to provide those devices for our families. Uh, we know this is not uh, completely adequate for all the needs that are out there in our community. And we will have another opportunity to uh, give you another uh, survey, and that uh, that survey will be provided to, uh, starting tonight for the next six days. And uh, following uh, uh, the survey, we'll understand what those need, additional needs are, and uh, our communication depart department will work hard to ensure that uh, you get all the available dates and information that you need to collect these devices. In the coming weeks, we'll continue to adapt and grow and together we'll support you to ensure that this distance learning becomes a reality and we'll be there for you. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Lisa, and thank you, Sarah. So again, for our families out there, um, we want to say thank you again and I really appreciate um, your grace and your understanding. Um, you know, as I think about the situation we're in right now as it ties into public education, um, 
literally what's happening to us is as if we're flying an airplane uh, and building it at the same time. Um, within about two and a half weeks, uh, a district like ours, uh, one of the largest in the state, certainly the largest in the England Empire, have been given the mission and the responsibility to turn Martin um, Water uh, type of teaching and classroom setting into 100% online and distance learning. And we're doing the very best that we can. And so again, ask for your forgiveness uh, up front. Uh, we will do everything we can, but together we can definitely accomplish a lot of learning. And uh, I have no doubt about that. And for the students who are watching, um, I, uh, I have a challenge for you. I want you to take ownership in your learning and your teachers um, and their supporters. Uh, but really, I'm gonna say their teachers, and that is your teachers, um, are really carrying the bulk of this task. They're doing everything they can over the past week and a half to learn how to get online, how to use platforms that they perhaps never touched before, and doing the best that they can to provide you this opportunity to learn away from you. Their minds and hearts and spirits are with you. And what we want you to do is please take advantage of this work that we have put together, put together for you and give the best that you got. You have to have ownership in your own learning. And we believe um, that if you do that with the work that we put together and the effort, we will come out stronger than ever before. Take this opportunity as a time to adjust, to learn, such as life. And if you do that well, we will all be behind you to support you 100%. With that, I think we'll sign off. That's right. Thank you for listening.